feel like my channel has just ascended into a gossip channel where I just come on here and tell you that it's a gossip in education. Anyway, this week's rumours in exams, I wish that was more exciting. I really, really genuinely wish that I had a super fun gossipy channel where I just talked about fun and exciting things. But no, today, things may or may not have been leaked to one, two, three different newspapers about what is happening with next year's exam. So, what are the rumours this week? It was reported this week that exams are happening, but they're going to tell you what's in the exams. So they're going to tell you what topics are going to come up, they're going to tell you maybe how many marks are going to be for this. We don't know too much of the details at the moment because it is just a leak. But the idea is that they're going to tell you what is on the exam so that you can revise for it. And I can see this working for some subjects and I can see this not working for other subjects. For example, maths, across the three papers, they generally cover the whole of the specification. So they might tell you that you don't have to know like how to work out the tangent to a circle, um, but still, most of the specification is actually going to be covered in maths, just because it generally always is, across the three papers, not like paper one content, paper two content, paper three content, there's a bit of a difference between non-calculator and calculator, but generally, across the three papers, absolutely everything is covered. I can't really see how it would work for English. So you might maybe get told in advance what the question is, and then you can prepare for it, and I can kind of see that working, because even if you do a lot of preparing at home and with your teachers, it's still going to be hard to translate to, to like memorise an essay and then translate it directly into the exam. That That's not something that's easy to do. So you might get told they're kind of like, oh, there's going to be a question on this character in the exam. Or you might get told there's going to be a, this set of poetry in the exam. And it's kind of like, I, I don't see the point for maths. I can kind of see the point for English. Um, I guess the point more comes into subjects like science, where not everything on the specification is examined every single year. For example, for GCSE, stuff like titrations generally comes up every other year. Um, and then it's generally either the method or the calculation. And with calculation, you generally either have a big titration calculation or a big bond end weekly calculation on it comes to paper. So I can kind of see it working for some subjects and not for other subjects. And like for maths, where there's been no reduction in content and all of the content is examined in their papers, I literally just don't see the benefit for that. Um, and with other subjects like English and history, where you do get to choose where which parts of the exam that you answer questions on, um, maybe it would be a bit helpful it would obviously be most helpful for subjects like science, where if you definitely know that um, forces aren't going to come up, which is a really stupid example because forces come up every single year, it's a massive topic. Um, but if you know there's not going to be anything on a force times equals mass times acceleration, then you maybe don't learn that equation. Um, that would that would um, reduce the amount of stuff that you have to learn. Just talking about this can you see this beautiful poster over here if you want them for your schools just get your teacher to message me and I will send out 100 200 300 posters like this completely through and then you just pop it on your wall and just learn all the equations for physics it's exam board neutral because physics equations are physics equations um but say if you knew there was nothing going to be on waves, or there was nothing going to be on density, or this practical was going to be examined, and this practical wasn't going to be examined, then that will reduce the burden. So I can kind of see where they are coming from with this. Um, but depending on the subject, it is going to be varyingly useful. Um, so that is the gossip this week in exam news i probably get like a little jingle for gossip alerts oh i wish it was happy news but otherwise 
no happy news and the 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 talk of a vaccine um being rolled out relatively quickly um does mean that i think it is more likely that exams are going to be happening there are, there is gossip talk of the lockdown being extended into january which is hugely depressing um but the restrictions bringing the case numbers down and um the the vaccine being introduced means that i um kind of like 60 40 now that we're going to have exams so 60 percent we are going to have exams whereas kind of like before they announced the vaccination i was like 50 50 i'm now slightly more that exams are going to take place um but obviously we still don't know um we still need to prepare for everything so i'm sure you guys are doing mocks at the moment or preparing for mocks after christmas if you're doing mocks now and you've already done mocks expect for there to be a second mock in around like march time um so yeah it, it is a bit brutal at the moment guys just um yeah just trying to carve yourself i will keep you up to date with all of the exciting gossip um, yeah, good luck guys.